Mm-hmm. What are we doing? <sighs> I think we are um, talking about 65 pages of notes. Oh, boy. <laughs> been a while sorry hello and welcome to the park stop podcast <laughs> my name is alicia mm. stella with me as always is my co-host ian hey kids <laughs> uh it's been a little while we um accidentally took last sorry. month off but we have been recording patreon podcasts so if you're uh, a member of patreon.com slash theme park stop you probably heard we talked about shrek closing um mm-hmm and uh, uh, and now we are going to catch up on all of the Universal Orlando news and rumors. And there is kind of a lot the last two weeks. So it'll be a short show. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No, it's mm-hmm. just quick and easy. We're already halfway mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I have uh, first in my notes, Revenge of the Mummy Refer, but that feels like a year ago. Like <laughs> I know it does. I mean, I rushed to get on there one last time like a year ago is what it feels like. It was still... Christmas. Eat. No, then it, it was last year at least. Mm-hmm. Um, to make the episode go quicker, just really quick, I wanted to say that it definitely feels like the main reason they're closing it for this long is to replace the ride control system and new computers and electrical. And That's good. Uh, I don't even know if we'll get any new track or if it even needs new track. It just really needed that new computer system. It needs to fix the braking on the fake out stop because it's always harsh there yeah yeah i i think someone someone's talking about how they bruised a rib or broke a rib or something i'm like yeah that, it's, that's the fun of it um it's super harsh braking right there nowhere else just right there well i was worried the the launch was uh needing work but it turns out it's just a computer control system the way that it like tests the weight of the vehicle and launches needs to be improved not the actual mechanics so i don't even think we're getting like a new launch or anything they're just going to improve the way that it uses the existing stuff that's fine anything that improves the ride i love that ride just keep keep my phraser alone maybe the compute computer can reprogram the brakes to not be so sudden <laughs> Yes, please. Yes, please. And just keep my Fraser. I need my cup of coffee. Well, and that's that's another thing, too, is that, like, I know they're redoing some of the queue, but, mm-hmm. you know, there is a good chance that they're going to. Someone said that uh, they heard because Universal was doing um, surveys that they, they won't yep. cut Brendan Fraser because they know that they'll get too much backlash. And I'm like, that would be cool. <sighs> I mean, it was a rumor. It doesn't necessarily mean it was true. So if they don't cut Brendan Fraser, it may have just never have been a true th- fact, you know? I choose to believe that Brendan Fraser isn't going anywhere because they fear the backlash of the Fraser fans. I mean, is I the only way that I'd be okay with it is if they film new stuff with him. Yeah, exactly. The ending is what makes everything in that ride for me. Between the I need my cup of coffee and then the, if that feels good. It's fun to tell people to listen for that too. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, hold on. Let me put it in right here so you can hear him say that feels good. I'm going to put it in oh. right now. Oh, boy. This interview a lot more if I had gotten my cup of coffee. Thank you. Ah! 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 Ah, wasn't that great? Um, so, <laughs> Like when you come back from a clip, you have to react good. to it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's my favorite. Wait, what? What's going on? Uh, so... <laughs> What if they just take out the cue video but leave the end? <laughs> That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with I'm as long as the end video is there, they can make it make sense however they want. Or oh, not. it doesn't have to make care. sense. It's That's just what I said, or not. I don't like care. they never set up an interview or anything. It's just uh, you know I would have enjoyed this interview a lot more if I'd gotten my cut for no reason. Just that's how it ends. I'm fine with that. It's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, that's it. Revenge of the Mummy. It's going to open late summer. Oh. Moving on. Okay. You did get I'm to ride it, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's good. Many times. Yeah, I went on with Tom and his daughter one last time. I was like, it's closing. We got to go. Well, when you were there <laughs> last time, did you mm-hmm. see Shrek? I, w- I saw Shrek last time I was there. I dragged them on. I, oddly enough, I dragged those same two people on Shrek. I was like, it's closing. We got to go on it. So yeah. now that Shrek is gone forever, how did you feel about it seeing it for the first time in years? It was the same. I mean, it it, held, it holds up pretty good. <laughs> It holds up pretty good. It was a. It wasn't a bad ride. It's just, in my opinion, it's just time to go. It's been there for so long. No, I'm not upset about it leaving. It's still okay. pretty cool, but. And I, I, I did laugh when we got to the part 
with the seats and the gallop because the noises came out and I remembered how you and I talked about it and it made me laugh. I was like, this is hilarious now. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it. I honestly, it did hold up pretty well. It's just, like I said, time to go. Go bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing screens on the side, it did lighting effects. I think it pulled off what it did well for the technology it was working with. For sure. It, it, it will always be a kitty version of Terminator 2 3D to me. It's a lot of the same <laughs> gags, but for, for kids. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's all I get to say about that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did a whole show we on did. Patreon about Shrek 4D and barely talked about Shrek 4D. So there isn't <laughs> much to say about it. But we do have a lot to say about rumors for its replacement. Oh, boy. <laughs> My dogs the, are playing the, in the background. So sorry. And what is replacing Shrek 4D? Who knows? The the secret life of pets off the... No, no, it's not that. No. <laughs> the DreamWorks Theater. No, no, it's not that no. either. No. What is it? What is it? It is villain Minions con? Minions Villain Con. Minions Wacky Weapon Factory? I did write that con? down because I was like, what if it's not Villain Con? What if it's like... <laughs> it's been so long. Four <laughs> years we've been talking about this. It's been so long. <laughs> It's There's a, a new movie. There's a new movie coming out this summer. Yeah, I know. Which I didn't realize had a trailer. Kronk is lying um, down and Little is attacking. That's the way it goes. Minions, The Rise of Gru had a trailer last year. I didn't even realize. And I went to go watch it. And I was like, oh, man, this is like barely going to have villain con in it. It's probably going to be in like just the first five minutes. And then <laughs> I'm calling him Baby Gru, but he's like 10 years old or whatever. But Baby Gru is there. So I'm thinking oh <laughs> that since they put this off, since we've been talking about it for four years, there's probably going to be new characters in it. Maybe it won't oh, yeah. be Villain Con named, but so I was like Minions Wacky Weapon Factory because there's like gears on the on the walls on the uh, the yeah. wall art. Um, but the gears are probably because of the moving walkways, huh? huh? Yeah, probably could be, could be, could be something factory related. Uh, that's not weaponry. I don't know. Yeah. Some some kind of shooting gallery type attraction. I do think it's going to be Villain Con, though, because I know that movie's going to open with the Villain Con because that's where they meet Gru for the first time. So of course. I'm sticking with it. The days leading up to Shrek 40's closure, Universal's social media accounts were posting pictures of bananas. Bananas. And I, I'm like commenting, like, I wonder what this <laughs> means. And everyone's like, Donkey Kong? Could it be Donkey Kong? Oh my God, is it New King Kong? And like, and there was like a seven oh. different anything but minions. And I'm like, no, it's minions. No, it's it's going to be minions, you guys. It's minions. So I got I got to say, shout, shout out to everyone that said confrontation because you know, mm-hmm. yep. They took a picture in front of the old, like in front of Mummy. That's don't do that. You're tempting Kong. Um, <laughs> he will come back. And then the work walls go up. And there's minions on them. And I'm like, okay, everyone, now you believe us? It's clearly going to be a new Minions attraction. They're like, no, that's just because it's no. across from Minions. No, that's just because a new movie's coming oh. out. It's going to be Secret Life of Pets, y'all. <sighs> oh, man. Uh, they literally t- posted a 15-second video of someone picking up a piece of an onion, taking an onion off camera and replacing it with a banana in front of a wall that has minions on it. And people I still know. don't think it's a minions ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not. Maybe it's a Dr. Nefario ride. Uh, he he is younger in 1968. Mm, I'd be more into that. And to anyone saying, why would they put a minions ride across from a minions ride? Technically, this is a Minions, all caps, ride across from a Despicable Me ride. Huh? Mm-hmm. Two different franchises. Yeah, and the Goyles won't be in it, in one of them. Don't just go to, to the pool. <laughs> I, I'm watching the trailer, and <laughs> it's Baby oh, no. Gru, so now I got to do a new impression. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Dude. Do, do you realize that now that now Universal has a baby Gru and Disney has a baby Groot? <clears throat> well, it's not really a baby. Like, again, he's 10 know, years old. But, but if, if Yoda can be 50 and a baby, then I think Groot could exactly. be 10 and a baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this this thing is rumored to have a moving walkway <laughs> instead of a ride vehicle. And you're supposed to like, I'm guessing you're going to stand on a dot, right? So yeah, in my probably. mind, I'm like, how are they going to keep people to stay on the dots? Oh, I know. You just have a pre-show with baby Gru. And he's like, now remember to stand on your... Wait, he's going to be a baby. <laughs> remember to stand on your dot or you won't earn any points. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. If people get off their dots, like, 
Uh, attention, everyone, remain on your dot. <laughs> Wait, it's British You're, now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you I just can't. went through like four different impressions. <laughs> He's... <laughs> now remember to remain on your dot or you won't earn yeah, any you, points. <laughs> innator. <laughs> innator. You sound innator. more like that. <laughs> if I oh, had a nickel man. for every time that happened, I'd have two nickels. See, which isn't a lot, so but it's more... weird that it happened twice. <laughs> yeah. They are kind of similar, sort of, I guess. Oh, oh. Vaguely Eastern Eastern European. Um Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever it's a it's a bad guy, that's it. You just go straight for that. All right, so it's what Project Three Thirty One. Let's get into some some rumors here. Okay, there was permits for partial demolition of the interior uh, and some of the slab, the demolition of the existing compressed air system. So no more. <laughs> uh, but that's my favorite part. Uh, it's rumored to be a villain con themed Minions franchise attraction, some kind of shooting gallery attraction. Uh, it was originally designed, rumored to be designed as a trackless ride, like mm-hmm. all the way back in 2015, 2016, when the movie came out, I think they were working on a concept for a trackless ride where you go from booth to booth at VillainCon and try out different zappers or whatever. And as it should be. Then it became a walkthrough where you walk mm. through and like do shooting gallery stuff. But I guess they were concerned that People wouldn't keep up with the parties in front of them. So moving walkway it is. And that's what the the current rumor is. And uh, even though we heard this like last summer and I remember I remember saying, I don't believe you. (laughs) Well, I believe it now. (laughs) It's actually happening. It is a moving walkway attraction. It's ridiculous, you know, because nothing says fun like walking around all day and I think like literally all day in the theme park to go on an attraction that requires you to stand. Yeah, at least you're not walking. Once you get on there, you just have to stand on your dot. <laughs> <laughs> um, right now, people are listening to me and going, we have to change the spiel. It's it's, it's too mm-hmm. similar. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> Alicia cracked the code. We need to change the spiel now. Can we get, <laughs> can we get him back in the booth? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need you to do that again. The, the moving walkway is going to curve and turn. Uh, and there's actually, if you look, there's some aquariums have ones. Uh, I was looking at Ripley's Aquarium. Uh, someone posted a picture, so I looked at the video. And it does. It curves. And it, it, it as long as you stay put, because there's like seams on it, as long as you stay yes. put on your dot, then you should be fine and won't like <laughs> cross over the, the, the seam. It's the same thing they shove your luggage out on. It is really a luggage carousel, yes. <laughs> it is. It really is. Just a moving luggage carousel that you stand it on. Is. You're going to grab your blaster like you grab 3D glasses and you're going to like hold it and stand in place on a moving walkway as you move from <laughs> scene to scene uh, uh, on a conveyor belt like luggage and you shoot things <laughs> to help the minions be like, defeat bad guys or something. I don't know. So do you think there's going to be like dividers between people or anything? No, there's going to be dots. Upright? You're not listening to me. I heard the dots. <laughs> I'm just saying. There could be both. I'm just wondering. Oh, man. You won't earn any points if you don't remain <laughs> on your dots. <laughs> so <laughs> it's getting more evil. And he, uh, No, I for it to be a continuous thing, I don't know. I guess they could have a separate apparatus that flops like a flap in between. But if you're like a party of five or a party of ten or a party of two, like they'd have to change the size of the flaps. I think it's just going to be uh, uh, stand on your dot and hope that because, you know, <laughs> I was talking to Jen about it. And she's like, yeah, because tourists pay attention to rules and, and follow them. Exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, because people don't jump out of ride vehicles ever. <laughs> <laughs> but you, there'll be railings so you can't run into the scenes. I mean, that's all we can but really can hope for. You still hop off your dot. <laughs> so it won't be stopping. It'll be continuous like an Omni mover you stand on. Uh, so it's not like Toy Story Mania where it takes you to a scene and then you stop. That's what originally I was thinking. But it's going to continuously just take you through the shooting gallery. And Do you think uh, it's going to uh, be a scene? What? Do you think it's going to be all the way around you? Like a speed tunnel kind of thing? <sighs> I... I'm going to take a guess because it has to be some kind of screens. Um, one of the notice of commencements, the the permit has Holoviz Incorporated as the company working on the audiovisual. And they mm-hmm. do some really impressive like giant screen integration stuff. So mm-hmm. I don't think it'll be just a flat screen. I think it'll be like 
I guess like Secret Life of Pets off the leash where there's screen integration where like the especially the fireworks scene. I think something mm. like that where there's foreground stuff because there is rumors for practical set pieces and screens. And I'm guessing since it's interactive and you have a blaster that it, it has to be all like screen based, but it's not going to be flat. I think there'll be like rounded backgrounds, projection mapping type, type of stuff. Wait, so you mean a company is listening to their fans and not just doing all screens? No, people will still listening? say it. people will still of say course. it's all screens, but it's it's of more complex will. than that, I think. I think it's going to be because it's a small space, everything's kind of on the left, everything's kind of on the right. There may be a couple tunnels that everything's all around you. Um That's what I'm, I'm just forward. hoping for I'm hoping for at least one floor to ceiling immersive scene where it really finale. feels like it goes on for a long ways. Yeah. Like a finale. Like I want a big finale where it feels like, like all of a sudden you're in a giant warehouse and things go on forever. Like, like web slingers tries to do. <laughs> no boy. But, but because you're moving the whole time and because it's rounded, maybe it'll mm-hmm. feel more immersive. That's my hope. Maybe the finale is Dr. Nefario and like a giant robot controlling things and coming after you. And that's how they meet. So if you get a blaster handed to you, do you think it'll be a like banana shaped? Do you think there'll be banana blasters? <laughs> <laughs> that name is so bad. And I can't what? make the jokes because this is not Patreon. No, I think Why that, would you do that to me. I, well, they banana. replaced the onion with banana. They teased the bananas. And this is a Minions attraction. I I feel like uh, there's an opportunity here. But what if it's a fart gun that we're shooting at people? Well, he things? doesn't invent the fart gun. Until Despicable Me, this is Baby Gru. What if it's what if it's a banana launcher? So it's like a banana blaster. I asked for uh, a fire blaster. (laughs) (laughs) You can like throw in like bananas, like boomerangs, or I don't know. What it could be so many things. In the trailer for the new movie, he has like a goo gun where he shoots a purple like goo ray. It could be that. And then, like everywhere, every time you shoot, like the screen has a like goo uh, fly out of your I, gun. I am not mature enough for this ride already. I'm just uh, saying. But it's not in 3D. It, it's it's bad enough that you you have to be handed a gun. And the imagine the eBay sellers if people are getting out of here with guns because <laughs> you can't attach it to I a know. ride vehicle or a railing because you it could be That's all what ages. I was saying. Well, I'm saying the dividers would keep people in their spot. You could attach the guns to something. And then what are you going to do about wheelchairs? You put in, you put a few nice seats in there. You got yourself an Omni move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Since, one. <laughs> since it's a moving walkway, there might, it, you might just be able to lock a wheelchair and put it on there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Right. It depends on how wide it is, right? And I then think all- it's going to be wide. I think it's going to be like... Wait. Like at the at the city walk wide, I think there's no way this is going to be because the ones at aquariums tend to be skinny and then yeah, there's a walkway skinny. next to it. I feel like this this has to be double wide. You come into an issue with the length, too. If you're facing sideways and the thing has to turn, the thing's going to be turning under the wheels of the wheelchair that could well, cause yeah, issues. Potentially. So maybe there's some kind of locking apparatus or something. Yeah, there's got to be something. Maybe it flips out of the thing or I don't know. I'm curious. I'm very curious to see how they're going to deal with that. Because it has to be ADA accessible. Even if you get yep. out of the wheelchair, there has to be a way where you can do it where you're not standing. So I don't know. These are the questions that we ask. Mm, and we won't know answers to for quite a while. The good news is, I mean. There's good news? There, well, there, I'm actually <laughs> excited for this because it is it is first of its kind. First of all, do it we is. call it a ride? Do we call it a walkthrough? If you can't walk, if you have to stand your dot, then you can't call it a walkthrough. <laughs> it's clearly it's a, a ride, but you don't sit down. It's a stand through. It's a, a stand st- through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's a I stand died. through attraction. I, <laughs> <laughs> I broke Alicia. Oh, I'm drink some more Jameson. Uh, now. I'm laughing because it makes too much sense. <laughs> 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 Welcome to our stand through attraction. <laughs> oh, the accent makes it funnier. Please stay on your dot. All right. So <laughs> the rumor is that Halloween Horror Nights, which uses one of the Shrek theaters as a haunted house in recent years, will not be losing that space. 
Yay! Not that they don't have another space that we know of, but still, that's awesome. Well, they, they're probably losing the one by Fear Factor during construction because they're going to use that as a staging area, supposedly. That's true. Supposedly. supposedly yeah. And they might use they might use Fast and Furious, the actual ride path, as a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That's better than the ride. <laughs> I mean, they, they did that for Confrontation, but Confrontation didn't have to close the ride for that to happen because it happens below you. <laughs> You know, so they could yeah. still have a haunted house set up during the day and you wouldn't even know because it's below the ride vehicle. Yeah, this one's a little cool. different. You can't bl- block a trackless ride vehicle. Pa- Nobody's going to notice if Fast and Furious is closed. No. Let's be real. I think the, the satisfaction <laughs> scores for the for the entire park go up when it's closed. Um <laughs> I wish that was a joke. The, the 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 rumor is that one of the theaters or part of the building, I should say, because they're tearing down partitions. So part of the building is being like a like a black box, like a multi-use, multi-purpose space so mm-hmm. that they can put a haunted house in there or they can put a show in there. They can do all kinds of things in there all year long and it won't affect the Minions attraction. And I think that's partly why we're seeing it as a stand through ride and not. <laughs> a actual ride because there's not enough room in the space that they're using for like ride vehicles and mechanics and stuff but a moving walkway no big deal so hurry up and think of every way you can spell the word through so we can go pat and stand through real quick stand through (sighs) can we trademark it can we do something yeah i I think it's awesome that hhn is gonna have the space still it'll be cool to have something new there even though i'm not overly excited for this i just hope it's fun I think it's going to be cute. I think it's going to be funny. I like yeah. the Minions movies are cute. They're a billion dollar franchise. So someone's going to like yeah, exactly. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gonna, and uh, just because I'm not excited for it doesn't mean that I won't go on it and have fun. It's just like it's it's just not like it's not an e-ticket, so to speak. It's just it's going it, to it'll be what it is. It should be fun at least. Though, honestly, so. I'm kind of worried about Men in Black because of the like the possibility for this to be the same thing. Don't but, you touch my men in black. But a stand through. Like you enter Villain Con and then you end up like going out. Like like the the men in black conceit is that you're like at a a World's Fair uh, pavilion mm-hmm. and then yeah, yeah. you're in the training area and then you end up in New York City. Like you leave the area. So I feel mm-hmm. like this could be you're in Villain Con and then you go outside of Villain Con and you're like doing things with other characters to stop some bad guy or something and i think that like it's gonna be so similar you're picking up blaster guns and shooting uh, at at a convention floor like i feel like it's gonna be the replacement for men in black and that we're gonna lose that That soon that's not a replacement i'm just saying well, what I meant to say is for anyone saying that it has no rewritability, just think of how rewritable things are that are interactive that you earn score on Oh, especially if you're competitive and the guns and men in black need to be updated because I'm not doing very well lately. Yeah, I haven't been able to get like more than 650,000 since like there's it just doesn't want to work. It doesn't doesn't I yeah. I always have a bad gun if I'm doing bad, but I have a great gun if I did good. It's not it's it's the gun's fault <laughs> if I'm doing bad. <laughs> And to yeah, the two I, people that are going to ask, yes, they're going mm-hmm. to clean the blasters the same way they do 3D glasses, bef- like before you get them. Like that's that's how that's going to work. It's going to be like the zombie thing we did at the OD- o- Oviedo Mall. Yes, there'll be like mm-hmm. a, a tray of instead of a tray of 3D glasses, it's a tray of blasters. A tray gun. Tray Your guns, guns sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just a butler with a tray of guns. It'll be Doctor Nefario. Oh, that would be cool, actually. It would be cool. <laughs> like an animatronic Dr. Nefario at a booth and, it, and he's handing out uh, freeze rays. Oh, that'd be so good. Dr. Nefario is definitely doing it. Do, do we think he's doing the safety spiel? Oh, that would be good. I'd be good with that. No, it's going to be Baby Gru. Uh, uh, Villain Con is rumored for 2023 now. And that, that kind of bums me out. That's a long time. I yeah, it was originally rumored. I mean, hey, maybe my original rumor is true. It was originally rumored to open in six months from now when the movie comes out, <laughs> um, which seems crazy. Except that that the one theater has been closed for so long, they could have already been building this for all they we could know. Have. They you know, since Halloween sure. Horror Nights ended, they could have already started taking things down, dismantling the rest of the theater, and, and uh, like getting everything prepped especially removing all the pre-show stuff from the other pre-show they could have started some of that when they were doing the house too 
Yeah, that's true. You don't <laughs> you don't need Pinocchio hanging there for a haunted house. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's a different kind of haunted house. Because that second theater never opened after Halloween Horror Nights closed. Yeah, I think that that's a pretty good guess. <sighs> but yeah, it's supposedly mm. it's being pushed back. And you know, maybe there's like delays on construction supplies or whatever. So it's possible they'd be like, you know what, it's just easier. Let's just do this. Open it up spring, summer 2023. Uh, you know, even if it's a year after the movie came out that it's tying into, it's, you know, this will be around for 10, 15 years. You know, longer yeah, than Alfred Hitchcock, it, The Art of Making Movies. <laughs> oh, it's such a good attraction. Oh, I, I did look at the stairway one more time just in case that's gone too. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine it would be. Yeah, I would think so too. That's I wonder, sad. I wonder if we'll get a gift shop considering there's a Despicable Me gift shop across the way. I'm going to say they're probably not going to be short on Despicable Me or Minions merchandise anytime I want, soon. I want just to be a weapon shop. Just sells blasters, all different types of blasters. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> like Men in Black has two different styles. Maybe there's different, like mm-hmm. you just randomly get a gun and it's different. And you, what you shoot is different every time. It could be the purple goo. It could be banana blasters. It could be freeze rays. Every ride would be like different. Whoa. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Okay. That would make it a little more fun. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. I know you are. Your stand through attraction. My stand through attraction. Well, I like new things. It's it's something new. I like know? new things. Yeah. Like well, I said, I it's not yeah. something I'm super excited for, but I'm still going to go on it and probably have fun. So it's hard oh, not to my have goodness. fun. We have so much more to talk about. We're not even done with this park. What's next? What else we Project got? Project mm-hmm. 195 is for mm-hmm. Fear Factor mm-hmm. Live's mm-hmm. replacement. Now. Goodbye. I need to. We're recording this. Um. The week before it goes out. So I need to ask mm-hmm. my future self, uh, have the work walls gone up? Uh, hi, past Alicia. This is future Alicia living in the future. And no, as of this moment, the work walls have not gone up. <gasps> Thank you, future Alicia. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's your answer. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> the, It's possible. Well, there's mm-hmm. demolition permits uh, that were filed like a month, yep. two months ago. Uh, Mm -hmm. And there's new permits uh, popping up now for Project 195. So I have a feeling that they're going to start demolishing that theater. Uh, Rest in peace, Wild 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 West Dunn Show. I miss you. Oh, oh, it's been gone forever, though, already. So let's Yeah, but any chance of it coming back is just Mm -hmm. gone now. So what's the rumor for Fear Factor Live's replacement? That that broom thing you kept talking about. The VR broom ride with the broom factory. Well, what do you got now? It's not the same anymore? (sighs) <sighs> well, I'm worried it might be in flux because like there's Uh-oh. uncertainty and I wonder if it's because the New York thing opened. Oh, the, the big New York store thing? Yeah. The exhibit store thing? I'm wondering if Minions doesn't open until 2023 and the broomstick thing was supposed to open in 2023. Does that now give them an extra year to plan a change in the way that they're going to do the VR thing? Or will they still open it in 2023 and then we get two new attractions next year? Yeah, I don't know. What else could they do besides a broom factory, too? Uh, I like I was going to say ride. indoor show, but we're actually getting an indoor show at uh, Epic Universe. So mm-hmm. maybe not. I hope not. We all know I don't really do shows. So Can you imagine if they actually figured out a way to bring... Oh, I guess if you got rid of Men in Black. If they actually figured out a way to bring oh. the whole British ministry over here instead of doing That'd it at Epic. Cool. That'd be pretty cool, actually. And then Epic could have the French... And it yeah, wouldn't have to be two timelines in two different places. Right. Um, I didn't want to talk too much about it. I just want to mention it in case the walls were up and they either are or aren't, depending on what I said a minute ago. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't know. Be up this weekend. I'm putting my money on 2024. Weekend? Yeah, I think I think they're going to be up on Monday. Uh, mm, like I'm, every Monday, might... we're going to get a new set of walls three weeks in a row. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I might sneak in on Monday. I'll take pictures if I am. I was going to sneak in the cafe to the monsters too. Um, oh yeah, we didn't talk about that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I, well, going back to minions, uh-huh. uh, if you have a minions ride on the left and a minions ride on the right, that's like a mini land. That's like a minions is. land is what it that is. is. A uh, mini, a mini yuns land, if you will, right? <laughs> so don't, don't, just don't. So I put it to Twitter. I said, um, what if... 
the Monsters Cafe was rethemed to the Minions Cafe like they have in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I was expecting everyone to like pitchfork uh, uh, like attack. And instead they're all mm-hmm. like, I hate this idea, but it makes sense. <laughs> I think that's where I am. <laughs> Because if Epic Universe is going to have a Monsters Land, do we really need yep. a Monsters Cafe? Not really. And it's so I mean, dark and gloomy I, in there. It could be a bright and shiny, happy Minions Cafe. Yeah, I like the dark and gloomy better, but still, we're going to get a whole land in multiple restaurants. So Think of the popcorn buckets that they could sell. <laughs> yeah, that you stand in line for seven hours to get. I mean, wait, what? It's just I'm just throwing it out there, and if I were... Uh, like I, I, we were talking about it and we've, I think you and yep. I have convinced ourselves that it's going to happen now because we, we <laughs> and now we just said it on the podcast. So it's happening. <laughs> so definitely we're, happening. So we're going to go eat the barbecue for the first time and maybe the last time before it the goes last by time. <laughs> I was like, the first time for the last time but ever something. I, th- I also heard that the, the Richter's burger was going to get rethemed when Fast and Furious happened and it didn't. So you never know. Yeah. Well, I mean, Fast and Furious is less than popular. So can you blame them? No, I think they pulled out everything they were going to do. They're like, why would we change the lane yeah. for this? This ride's not even going to last. <laughs> it's gonna- like, oh, look at that reaction. Never mind. Erase everything. Throw it away. That's why the drivers don't move. They're like, why Why are we going to spend thousands of dollars on moving? It's not even worth the time. Is there let's anything talk else about, before we move on to anything else? No, let's talk mm-hmm. about Epic Universe because it kind of ties yes, into the, to the Fear Factor thing. Yay. Um, I wanted to talk about Epic Universe mainly because I'm excited about permits. Uh, all of the old permits, like right before the pandemic hit, there was a ton mm-hmm. of permits being filed like every day. Um, yep. And then they sat for the last like two years and just mm-hmm. this last two or three weeks, they all got paid. And I mean like uh, uh, deferred, they had deferred payments. So instead of expiring, mm-hmm. they just kept deferring it for three times. And then December just last month, they paid like three of the four lands of the park and they haven't done the hub yet, but they've paid uh, and they've, there's also notice of commencements for actual work to start in Yay. Nintendo, in so Monsters, so and excited. in the Wizarding so World. Excited. So it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a new theme park, but mostly Universal Classic Monsters Land. Yeah, that was the second one they paid mm-hmm. for. Like that ought yeah, to tell you something. It's awesome. Yeah, like they, I'm excited. They, 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 and I think they're just doing it in the order that they were filed because um, Nintendo was first because that was the most ready. Um, yeah. I'm just glad to see that they paid monsters because that's a good sign for all of us who are worried that they might not follow through. And it's fun to look at the, um, oh, monsters had something interesting though. Mm-hmm. And I haven't checked in two days, but all of the permits for monsters were paid. Restaurant, yep. the smaller restaurant, mm-hmm. the mixed use retail and bathrooms with 26 water closets, uh, <laughs> the drink stand. By the way, it's $10,700 if you want to open a drink stand in uh, Central Florida, apparently, on fees. That's it? Yeah, I know, right? That's actually one of the cheaper ones, but it's still a drink <laughs> stand. The ride. They only paid $9,000 for the permits for the ride so far. Whoa. But they that's paid 11000 for the drink stand. Um, <laughs> the theater, the theater attraction yeah. is the only one they didn't pay yet. Yes. That's kind of a good sign. I don't <laughs> really ex- want a theater. You're excited. They're going to cut an attraction for monsters. I'm excited. They're going to cut a theater and maybe put something else in a theater. Man, you are spot. really anti-theater. You have no idea. I don't do shows like I do horror makeup and that's it. But it's that's monsters. It. <laughs> I know. But I mean, it's a show. I don't I want to go on attractions. I mean, how are you going to give me kooka arm monsters where I can be face to face basically with these things and then be like, here's a theater where you're like 30, 50 yards away from them, potentially. <sighs> like, That's not cool. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I want to be in a ride. I want to ride. ride. How dare you? So moving on how to another you? theater. Mm. Um, we talked about show, but still we talked about mm. a rumored theater at the Wizarding World Land in between the two attractions. And yeah. The last times we've talked about it, we didn't have any notes on that permit. I noticed there are notes now, um, and it says it is a five-floor building with a stage and 642 theater seats. So Interesting. So another show. It's not huge, but it's also not small. 
No. Like it's it's bigger than like an Ollivander's type thing. Like I was originally thinking, it's bigger than a street show. Uh, it's bigger than a bread box. That's enough to do like some short. How, how many seats are in uh, horror makeup? It can't be that. It's got to be fewer than that. I think so. Yeah. So you could do a good 20, 30 minute show and just keep rotating people out. Yeah, I think it's it's closer to that than um, something like Born, which has maybe a thousand. I'm not good with numbers, yeah. honestly. Yeah, that's crazy. I was thinking like horror makeup show size with a better like a better stage, a bigger stage, to be honest. Maybe it's slightly larger than that. While also going through the the permits, first of all, these were the most expensive ones so far. Uh, that theater alone, <laughs> two million dollars in fees. Ooh. Um, and I think partly it's because there's uh, impact fees when you're building a, in a mm-hmm. certain zone. And I think the Wizarding World location in the park is in a zone that I guess was originally planned to have some form of transportation or a road or something. So they're getting penalties, maybe. It's like, well, since we can't build a road here, pay us $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> um, How dare you stop us from making a row ad? Sorry. Because I noticed that they paid the fees for the permit for the virtual reality attraction. The the thing we got that we thought moved to Fear Factor Live at Universal Studios Florida. Wait, what? They paid the permit fees a million dollars for the building we thought was cut from Wizarding World. That's crazy. The a French ministry dollars. with the virtual reality broomstick ride. Yep. So, so if the they want, ride. <laughs> if they want, they can build it. They have the permits. They have all the permissions. They have all the plans approved. Um, all the notes say it's ready to go. So if they want to pour foundation and build the French ministry, maybe they'll put something else inside of it. Maybe they'll do virtual maybe. reality here. Maybe they moved virtual reality back from Universal Studios Florida. Maybe Universal Studios Florida never was going to have the virtual reality and I was wrong. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Get out of here. Or, or they have to pay that f- impact fee anyway. So they just paid it, <laughs> which is probably, probably the truth. Probably <laughs> That's probably that what one. it is. Probably that one. It is rumored that the land is still 1930s Paris. So I'm cool with that. If they want to build the French ministry and stick something in it, I'm all I'm all good with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, I'm cool with the the Paris thing. I like again for the 1000th time, I think I've said it. I am into the sets and the locations in those movies even if you're not into the plot. I will argue that till I'm blue in the face. I did also want to mention uh, oh, we talked about it on the Patreon podcast. We haven't talked about it because we haven't done our podcast here in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the other attraction, the main attraction for the Wizarding World Land at Epic Universe, rumored to be mm-hmm. uh, British Ministry of Magic attraction. Yeah, the uh, the Wonka Vader. It is one hundred percent definitely a Ministry <laughs> of Magic Wonka-vader. elevator ride. Yay, Wonka Vader. It is not a flying car ride as much as I wanted it to be. It is uh it is not uh well remember going all the way back to 2019 and we're like, it's gonna be a, a, a ride where you fly like you fly around uh, Paris catching all of Newt's creatures and oh, the Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we really believed yeah, yeah. that. And we were that wrong. Been cool. Yeah, no. yeah, that was cool. That would have been cool. It is a Harry Potter era nineteen nineties British Ministry of Magic elevator ride. Wonka Vader. You heard it here first, folks. The thing you thought it was all the time, you were right. <laughs> Every time you left a comment <laughs> and said, why would it just be an elevator ride? You're right. It is an elevator ride. My apologies. <laughs> Wonka Vader. It's not just an elevator. It doesn't just go up and down. The rumor was or is mm-hmm. that it was a suspended ride mm-hmm. system. And I and I and that is yeah. true. It was a suspended ride system. So my first thought was it must be a flying car ride. Uh, no. So it was, we were right. Yeah, we were, we're right. well, we were right. It was suspended ride system. <laughs> we were right. And, but it was suspending an elevator car <laughs> that mm. goes up and down. We were still right. I don't care. We were catching stuff. I don't care. And and there's a patent for it. If you're watching the visual version of this uh, podcast, I'll mm-hmm. show the patent because we can show it and talk about it. And the patent for this thing uses the same suspended ride system that the canceled Iron Legion ride at Islands of Adventure, the canceled suspended gyrosphere for Beijing. Well, yeah, yeah. the one before they did the Spider-Man vehicle. And, and mm-hmm. it shows it going like up and down and... 
um, it's like, yeah, like a Wonka Vader can come into the into a room and then it goes up. And then when it's up, the room below it changes scenery. So when you go back down, it so looks cool. like a completely different room. So cool. So instead of only going up and down a few stories, it looks like you've gone down like 40 stories because you're in a different place. It reminds me of David <laughs> S. Pumpkins with 99 floors. <laughs> <laughs> and every time the door opens, you're in a different space, even though it was the same room, just it looks different. But most of them That's are David awesome. S. Pumpkins. It's 99 floors. You got to have some, you know, they're all they're not all going to be original. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome though any I mean, questions yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool it'll be like so you, there's gonna be you think there's gonna be screens in the elevators oh god so yes yeah, like, so, uh, so many screens so many screens <laughs> yeah like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like the green gods elevators or you think even more screens well here's the thing because you're gonna be able to see out to the room so they canceled the suspended ride system <laughs> 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 yeah but i'm just saying like Shocker. even in general <laughs> It sucks. That would have been. I feel like that would have been more fun. I, I, it's at least the third one that I've known of that they keep patenting this technology, and then when they go to build it, they're like, "This is too expensive. What else we got?" <laughs> and you know do what else it, they got? Do it. What else they got? The Spider-Man vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, I, really, I, they do. They've never used that before. Uh, uh, I think exactly and i could be off base i could be wrong but i think exactly what happened in beijing with jurassic world adventure what was going to be a suspended ride vehicle that turned into the spider-man scoop vehicle modified modified it's more of a convertible i Mm -hmm. think that's what's going to happen with the british ministry of magic at epic universe Mm -hmm. and instead of being pulled up and down with pulleys it's going to use the elevators from transformers that's not too bad. Those are smooth enough that you don't notice them unless you look for them, really. So well, you do feel it in the pit work. of your stomach if you think about it. Like if you, <laughs> he wants the all spark, he can have it. Like if you like just at that exact moment, you'll feel your start, you'll, yourself start to move. But imagine mm, if yeah. you were on an elevator and it showed you you were going up and down. So like yeah. I think yeah, that's okay. my theory on that one. That's a big screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think like an actual real brick wall that you go by or whatever, and, and then you know you're going up and down, and then the rooms still change. It still uses all the patented technology, but without the suspended part. Yeah, which is the coolest part. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I mean, it is mm. it is a weird concept where like now I'm wondering, are there like multiple copies of this instead of it being like – one giant ride that everyone goes through. Is there like four duplicates in this giant building? There's got to be. What if it hmm. couldn't it be like a cylinder kind of thing that you walk into a, a round room and then there's just different doors? And then, yeah, like oh, you mean like it spins you? No, no, it no. Is- I mean, just like that, like a staging room. So there's different doors to get on the elevator. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. So that's your pre show, you yeah, know, with all the doors to different elevators. You rewatched um, the, the the movies with the elevators recently, didn't you? Yeah, it's been a few minutes. I watched them. I watched them before Christmas every year. Like for Thanksgiving and Christmas is my Harry Potter movie time. So you think they could do a pretty cool ride with elevators? They could, yeah. I mean, they go all over the place. They go up and down, and like it's a Wonka Vader, basically. So right, it, right. it could be pretty cool. And but does it bust do through like, the ceiling? <laughs> no, it doesn't do the cool part. It doesn't do the best part. It doesn't go okay. flying through the ceiling. Um, could be a lot of cool stuff anyway. Like we we were looking at the patents, and we were guessing that there were all the fireplaces for the flu traveling and stuff into the ministry and all that. That that hallway would be pretty cool to walk through, even if we don't go through well, the Well, yeah, no. The, the entry into this building... Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a giant fireplace with the green smoke. Uh, and then you walk down and through the atrium to the entrance to the ride. And the ride so not, is now an elevator ride. Not anything classy like flushing ourselves down a toilet? Nothing like no, that? No, that's how you get out. Um, oh, okay. So. <laughs> Ew. A little. Uh, we're running out of time. I don't know. <laughs> we ran out of time 20 minutes ago. No, no. We got 10 minutes. We got 10 <laughs> minutes. After 10 minutes, then I start freaking out because we're over an hour. Um <laughs> I did. I do want to talk about the hub a little bit because there's okay. a really cool patent for a carousel from Universal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was uh, discovered by Sonoma 15 on the Park Stop Patreon Discord. Thank Yay. you, Sonoma. Thank you, Sonoma. Sonoma, you're uh, awesome. It is like it's exactly what I assumed 
would be a weird carousel for Epic Universe. I'm looking at him going, well, that's weird. That's probably for Epic Universe. <laughs> like the mystery stained glass attraction in the middle of the park. Mm-hmm. It uses hydraulic lifts to move the seats up and down. And if you look in the permit for that building, it says hydraulic lifts. Ooh. Ah. I think there's, I meant to give you a link to a video. There's one in, no, I don't have it. There's, there's one in New York that, Mm -hmm. um, it's not like sitting on a horse. It's like sitting inside of a tiny ride vehicle and it goes up and down on a carousel. That's kind of cool. Like they could be shaped like stars and it could be like, um, uh, planets surrounding the carousel. If you're watching the visual version of this podcast, look at this (laughs) patent. Isn't it weird? (laughs) It's weird, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's weird. Just imagine like lots of weird planets spinning around maybe and stars or constellations, but you like sit in the ride vehicle and you seatbelt yourself in instead of straddling a horse. Uh, and it spins while going up and down and while going around in a circle. It's it's very weird. That's pretty cool, actually. It's something a little different, at least. I think it'll be fitting for the uh, hub area. Yeah. So that's the the best evidence I think we've seen so far that this the rumor of a carousel in the middle might actually be Is true. It- is it the sea glass carousel in New York? Is it that one? Does it look weird and you sit in little things with seatbelts? It looks weird and there's like little fish kind of things with circular cutouts for you to climb into. And yes, it's like, that. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. Now imagine that, but with planets swirling around you. <laughs> ah, that's cool. I want to go on this. Who's, yeah. Are we going to hold my hand on this one, too? <laughs> and speaking of the hub, the other attraction for the hub, the roller coaster, which we assume is a Mac roller coaster. Mock. It is. God, I always say that. A mock. mock. I'm going to cut that out and make it sound like I said it right. A mock roller coaster. <laughs> um, the, yeah. That is what we think, right? Because there's. Mock. Yeah, we think it's mock still. They're working had... on a new technology for spinning seats. Ooh, wait. Uh, yeah. Just explain spinning seats. Well, they're calling it a hybrid uh, seat, but no, but not all the seats have to spin. That's why you can have some seats that are facing forward, and then maybe the back row. That's what they've been testing it at um, Europa Park. They just like converted one of the trains at their their park, and they're testing it at nighttime. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be using it for the first time at Dream World in Australia. You can have just one because it's a dueling roller coaster. I'm mm-hmm. wondering if maybe one of ours can be spinning and one of ours can be not spinning. What if we're shooting at them and we can cause the other one to spin like a men in black? Well, that seems like the gun's going to hit you in the head when it goes upside down. <laughs> That's fine with me. That's fine with me. As long <laughs> as I can you, shoot at things. I'm you good. hit the launch and it's going to like fling you right in the head. Um, I'm just saying like it would make it competitive and rewritable too if there's a way you compete to make the other one spin. There's a, I don't think it's going to be competable. The the quote on the website from Mock says, Mm. the spinning speed can be controlled by magnets in the seat itself so that the ride is thrilling, but still fun. Depending on the weight distribution, each ride will be different for our guests. Interesting. Uh, And there is, because there is a difference. Like one track appears to not be as intense as the other track. So maybe that's the spinny track. Maybe. I don't know if I'm comfortable with people taking my weight without my permission. I'm just saying. That's what roller coasters do. They instantly always I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think this this rumor has a lot of weight to it. <laughs> uh, uh, see what you did there. See what you did there. Hi, Gronk. What else is going on? We're still waiting on permits to be filed with How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, but I do expect foundation pouring to start with Super Nintendo World, then go to Monsters, the Hotel, Wizarding World, and How to Train Your Dragon probably last because they're still working on a lot of land grading there. They got they have a lagoon in the middle of the land. They have lots of ditches for the coaster. So it makes sense that they haven't paid that one yet. I think it was also the last one they permitted. Or they're changing it. People are out there saying, what if they changed the whole land? I don't know. Maybe they did. I don't think they maybe. did, but maybe they did. I mean, I'm hoping they added to monsters and we get our boat ride, but that's probably not happening. Hi, puppies. No, still no permits for um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Oh, please give me the Gilman ride. Talk oh, my God. Ears, okay? The permits, the notes in the permits from the county, they call it um, Universal Mega Project. <laughs> <laughs> so not a park. It's just a very large thing they're building. Super um, big churro stand. Joe said it might be that that's the code name. Like Islands of Adventure was code name Project X. This one's Mega yep. Project. 
mega project is it, it sounds like i don't know it the naming for this stuff is just not awesome <laughs> Every single permit when it was uh, the plans were approved, <laughs> every single one says Universal Mega Project parentheses Epic Universe. So that is that is what the county is calling it. Universal yep. Mega Project. I think it's Project like, X sounds better, but. Hey, Stacy, you, you got those one. forms for the Universal <laughs> Mega Project. Working on it now. That's that's what's happening in the office. Um, Be right on top of that, Rose. Sorry. The. <laughs> <laughs> The dishes are done, man. Okay, so man. notice of command. <laughs> are we quoting a 35 year old movie? <laughs> yes, yes, we are. No one knows yes, what yes, we're we talking are. about. Yes, we are. No one knows what we're talking about. <laughs> It's going to be so good for the people that do, though. <laughs> Notice of commencements for the work, um, which I think is for foundation work, they expire December 31st, 2025, which of course means nothing. But to me, no. it means everything because they have to be done with the park by the end of 2025. I mean, unless yep. they ask for an extension, which is also possible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but also that that's quite a that's quite a big amount of that's like a year. They could be possibly potentially giving themselves right off the bat for like any supply chain issues or anything like that. Too. I mean, yeah, I mean, it could open in 2024 just because a permit doesn't yeah. expire until 2025. These normally exactly. default to one year from today. So if it's longer than a year, that means someone manually had to put that in. Now it's the end of the year, which means like they're, you know, it doesn't mean anything. They're not going to open a park the day before the next year. But (laughs) I think Tommy's on to something with, what was it? June 7th, 2025, the 35th anniversary of Mm -hmm. uh, Universal Studios Florida. I think that's a good date. That'd be That'd be a good way to open it, to be honest, even though I want it in 2024, but that'd be a good time to open it. Yes. Um, mm. Or or uh, that's just when it officially opens. There'll be pass holder previews, soft opens, team member previews, all in the months. For a in, year. In, well, n- more like three months, but yes, for a yeah, year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't and crush my dreams. The thing, well, my dreams has been that they've been land grading this <laughs> expansion plot between Nintendo and Monsters. So for like the last mm-hmm. month, I've been just like looking at these photos going, is that going to be Secret Life of Pets? Is that going to be Secret Life of Pets? And every <laughs> I time I... staging. Every every time I say it, someone goes, "It's just a staging area," and I'm like, "No, yeah, I hear, I hear, pets. I hear it's staging. <laughs> it's pets. I'm telling you, I hear it's staging. It's probably just staging. They raised yeah. the ground ten feet and put like sand gravel on top. Sand gravel. Well, it's one what? or the other. If it's sand, then it's <laughs> it's. If it's sand, it's Secret Life of Pets. If it's gravel, it's staging. And I, I yeah, bio reconstructs zoom and from the helicopter is not good enough that I can't tell the difference. Bio reconstruct. Can you please get a bigger zoom lens from the helicopter that you're a couple feet Just up in the air? Just get closer to the ground. <laughs> please take please, the helicopter please. down your to pictures. the ground. Your pictures are awesome, by the way. Thank you. Fine. It's just staging. We had one more thing on this list. We do? An escape room have, at City Walk. I'm, I'm good with the escape room. Those are fun. If you've never done one, you should do one. They're fun. I have never done one, but I've seen it really? in sitcoms. Therefore, it's the same thing. <laughs> um, Watching the Big Bang Theory is not the same. Uh, uh, There's multiple rooms in some of it them. Was, Sorry. It's also, yeah. Okay. So Project 235, they're, um, <laughs> they closed the Groove uh, nightclub yeah, yeah. and they trademarked the term Universal's Great Movie Escape. And there's lots of permits for um, refurbishments and and partial demolition interior. Uh, so uh, uh, and the rumor is it's escape rooms. I want a That's Back cool, to the though. Future. I want a Back to the Future escape room so bad. I, want I can't. A Monsters escape. Room I can't. And a you, Back to the Future escape room. And uh, hey, hey, hey. I don't. I don't really want a Harry Potter escape room unless they make an Azkaban escape room. But other than that, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need any of that. What about a Jaws escape room? Does yeah, I was that even make say, sense? A Jaws escape room. Yeah, because you it could be It fills with water. Enemy. It's Jaws 3. And you're in the, if the it thing fills at with water, You're just dead. You're, you're just this, dead. You're in the tube at SeaWorld. <laughs> it's filling with water. It's like the best you're scene in dead. Jaws 3 3D. Um, yeah. Well, it, in this one, the permit has an end date of 2023. So originally I was like, well, if Minions isn't open in 2022 and they have nothing else planned for 2022. What are they going to do? And I was like, maybe the escape room will open in 2022. But even that, it I don't will. think it's going to open until 2023 now. What? No way. It's just an escape room. No. Well, 
I mean, the permits don't necessarily mean anything. Again, I'm just inferring where there is no inference to be inferred. Come on, Universal. (laughs) Come on, Universal. It would be weird to not have any attraction open this year, but it's not like they need to. They've been opening stuff constantly, but it is weird. It is very weird. I mean, they've done the attraction every year, even beyond them having to do their prom, fulfill their promise. Yeah, they said for the next five years, I think it's been eight. Yeah, it's been a while. (laughs) But then again, I, well, no, that's a reopening. I was going to say they have stuff they're working on that they could reopen, but that's not the same. If either. the mummy reopens completely different, I'd count it. But it's probably going to be exactly the same, just with a new computer system. It's still a refurbishment, though. It's if it reopens and it's not an opening, it's not new. It's right, it's not new. Reopen. No. Yeah, no, new attractions. New attractions were the words they used, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe there's a new show. Maybe a new lagoon mm. show. Maybe a parade. We don't know. We, there's no rumors for new entertainment, but you don't know. That's not new. That's not anything new. It's got to be your attraction, 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 attraction. Mm-hmm. I want the roller coaster to spin now. It's going to spin. I think it's going to spin. Well, because we said I it on the it podcast? <laughs> yeah, well, I hope it's well, it's because I want it to so badly now. I'm curious, I'm curious. I want to see what that feels like. If only one of the sides had it, which line do you think would be longer? Spinning. Yeah. Even though the other one's more intense. Spinning. Yeah. Because it's novel. It's novel. It's a little more novelty. Yeah. Because it's still not going to be the same as the Guardians ride or any of the other ones. It's going to be different kind of spinny. Cobra's Curse is pretty neat. It does like a controlled spin one way, a controlled spin the other way, and then a wild does whatever it wants spin. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff coming at Universal, thankfully. It makes me happy. You know what needs to happen? I need to hurry up and build that big universe what needs to happen so I can go to monsters. What what needs to happen? Gremlins at Halloween Horror Nights this year. Yes, I know. I should have just said it. <laughs> you knew I was going to say gonna it. Learn. <laughs> I'm going to learn one of these days to just say gremlins. <laughs> if they do it, they better do the old lady flying out of the roof on her chair because that's like <laughs> awesome. If they do it, they better do both <laughs> movies in one. Yeah, for sure. There needs to be a movie theater scene and they're watching uh, Snow White. You're going to get the girl gremlin too? For the second one, yeah. Yeah, of course. We get the talky She's... gremlin, the smarty gremlin. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With this super lush, like, posh British accent going. You see, this is chaos. <laughs> 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 and you walk oh. out in New York, New York is singing, is playing. I just want HHN again now. We still got to get through Mardi Gras. Well, feet don't fail me now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Feet don't fail me now. I got copyright uh, claimed on every video I've ever posted with it in the background. (laughs) So so now I hate it. Boo. I was saying boo urns. (laughs) So (laughs) (laughs) thanks for joining us and sticking around to the end. Check us out at patreon.com slash theme park stop for more podcasts and fun stuff and behind the scenes for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate y'all sticking around. Bye, guys. Bye. I need the Jameson. <laughs>